So it's all about mutton here and different parts of the sheep. So when you talk about nose to tail, Gaudra Muddemane specializes in that. Yeah, but that's a cool massaging technique and you can see how sticky it is, how much elasticity it has, yes. right? So there's a bit of butter that goes in just to smoothen it a bit, give it a bit of a luster. No pressure required. Oh, it's so tender. Mm. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that's ridiculously tender. This is meatiness at a whole new level. With every bite, you totally want to just drench it. Drench it in the masala. Mm. I got a big nugget of meat that time. Oh man. And the meat is kind of encased within this layer of fat. Namaskara folks, welcome to another special episode of Gourmet on the Road with our very special guest Mark Weens. Thank you. So Mark, we've enjoyed a few local specialities in Bengaluru. Yes. But all of them have been vegetarian thus far. Yes. In this one, we're going to dive into the deep end of the non-vegetarian culinary oh. style <laughs> out here in Karnataka. So we've arrived at this place called Gaudra Mudde Mane. And basically, Mudde refers to a staple that's made of the finger millet, the ragi. Oh, okay, so everything okay. out here centers around that dumpling. Plus, there's going to be a whole lot of meat. Okay. Well, I'm ready to dive in. Fantastic. <laughs> so let's introduce Mark Weens to the joys of a delicious Gaudra Mane Uta. So if you look, Mark, the menu is on the walls here. Spare parts. Refers to all the offal here. The boti is the intestine, the brain, of course. There's also a blood fry that they do, which is only on Sundays. So another speciality that you have here is the karela fry. So basically, oh. this refers to the shin of the sheep. Wow. So this is not something that you will typically find offered in most restaurants. Again, the lollipop refers to a particular part here. There's only four pieces in, in a, a sheep. sheep. Yeah. So four plates of it per sheep. That's right. Wow, so it's exclusive. So it's all about mutton here and different parts of the sheep. So when you talk about nose to tail, Gaudra Mudde Mane specializes in that. Have, and are we talking here, what's most famous? Is it uh, mutton? So it's okay. basically sheep meat. Okay. There okay. will be chicken for the chicken lovers who come okay. in. But okay. otherwise it's But you come here to That's eat right. sheep. That's Excellent. Right. Excellent. Excellent. That's what we focus on. Excellent. With the ragi mudde. Yes. So this is Mr. Chandrasekhar. Hello. Hello. Nice this to is you. Mark Queens. Oh, yes. Bala Prasiddha. <laughs> World-renowned YouTuber, oh, yes, Yuru. Thank you. <laughs> so, he's the man who began this over 20 years ago. Nice to meet you. So thank you. So, he's a pharmacist by education. Really? And he carries forward the recipes of his mother. And Gaudru's refers to a community here. It's an oh, okay. agrarian community that comes from the Mandya region. And right. to them, it's all about the land. Yeah, that's right. So, basically, the focus is what grows on the land. And a big part of that, the staple for them is the ragi, is the finger millet. So what it is, is finger millet. It's a type of grain and it's been boiled already and pounded and now it's in kind of a porridge stage. It's not porridge, it's like quite a form. dough. It's almost like a dough. Yeah. And then we're gonna see the next process as they make it into personal sized balls, right? Dumplings. Dumplings, dumplings. But that's a cool massaging technique and you can see how sticky it is, how much elasticity it has, yes. right? So there's a bit of butter that goes in just to smoothen it a bit, give it a bit of a luster. You can see that butter slowly working its way into that uh, finger millet. Finger yeah. millet. You can see how smooth it is and now she's rolling it into ball-sized dumplings, individual portions. It's also very hot. Huh? That's why they use the cold water they mark. Yeah, our hands would blister probably. Yeah. Chicken pilau. So the specialty of this pilau is like there's also some coconut milk that goes into okay. its making. So it's also a pilau that's fairly mild, very fragrant because of all the hard spices. Oh, it is fenugreek. Oh, fenugreek leaves yeah. go in. Oh, wow. That's so basically, amazing. they're trying to flavor the oil so that oil will absorb the essential oils of the fenugreek and into that will meatballs. also find its way into the meatballs. This is cold pressed groundnut oil. Gotta have the meatballs. Yeah, definitely. We're going to try this too. 
So that's mutton a mutton chops. chops. Mutton chops. Lollipop. Oh, the brain fry. The brain fry. Oh, they're wobbling. If you notice here, along with the meat, there's also a good amount of the fat. That's what gives it flavor. Oh, yes. A gouda will never eat meat without the fat. What is this one? Chakna. This is kidney, liver, heart, testicles. Yes. Country chicken soup. Oh, country chicken soup. So Mark, we begin you. with the soup. The country chicken, nati koli. Uh, free range. Free chicken. range, that's right. Nice. Just to get the palate started. Mmm. All oh, the ginger. Ginger in there? Yeah. Oh, it's like very soothing. I like it's not salty, so it's like just tastes the flavor of the chicken. The very first bite, I got a bit of the um, chicken liver. Oh, you can tell that the chicken is kind of like roasted as well. Mm. Oh, that's really nice. Very soothing broth. Yeah. I love the ginger. I think there's also a bit of coconut milk in that. That's mm. why there's a bit of the body. It's almost like a tom kha, no? Yes. In a oh, yeah. speaking. Sort of, yes. Right, here we go. We're starting on the main dishes now. The kaima unde. Yes, you saw that frying fresh in the kitchen. Lollipop. This is a oh. lollipop. This lollipop basically is a piece of muscle. So if you look in the butcher shop, they hang the animal by the rear oh, legs. Yeah. Okay. So it's that muscle by which that animal is hung. So it's only found in the hind legs. So this is basically one legged. Yes. And it is pure muscle, nothing else. Uh -huh. So what they do is they first cook it like we saw, uh -huh. and then they fry it. They deep fry it. Oh I man. think we should eat this hot. Okay, let's do it. Go for it. Oh. No pressure required. Oh. It's so tender. Okay, no dips, no anything, just straight. Just the meat. Mm. <laughs> oh man, oh that's ridiculously tender. This is meatiness at a whole new level and Mark, what you should have it's also so is some of that moist. The fattiness. Yeah, the fat that's glistening so along tender. with it. Ah. That's ridiculously tender. Go for it. Mm. Mm. And it has a little bit of a minty flavor too. That's because they cooked it first oh. in that thick sauce. Also the textures, Mark. Also have a bit of that crispiness because the yes. lamb is deep fried at the end. Wow, that's good. And it's moist, juicy within. Fatty, mm. oily. Okay, meatballs. He deep fried these down with fenugreek leaves to perfume the oil yeah. with the fenugreek leaves before tossing in the meatballs. That's right. Mm. Oh. It is a garam masala. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's so good. All oh, the flavors keep on coming. All oh, the masala keeps on building. The heat, the herbs. There's also the dill that goes into it. That's what I'm tasting. Yeah, so that's the flavor that you're tasting. Oh. A oh. fair bit of pepper too. Mm -hmm. It's cooked first, deep fried, and then again tossed in a pan with a lot of pepper. And that's the pepper that's actually sinking into your tongue now. That's what's building in flavor. You can feel the pepper, the masala hitting your tongue. And Mark, what they do to bind the meatball together, they use a bit of gram flour. Okay. But the technique is to use it in a manner that it binds it without you tasting its flouriness. Ah, okay. So right now, okay. for example, all that I'm tasting is the graininess of the mutton mince. Yes. I'm not tasting the gram flour, what brings it together at all. Uh -huh. Right. Oh, that's tasty. Oh, that's mm. beyond tasty. There's a great spice to it too. So mark the plates are here. That means the rest of the food can be too far behind. And that's a good sign. That's a mutton kurma. And chops. The chops. And the ragi mudde. 
So typically this is like the baby size ragi mudde. Out here people yeah, we would have small. something thrice the size. Yes. This is the uh, oh, yes. The more spare more parts coming. Okay. Spare parts are here. And also our oh. naati chicken, chicken pulao. Pulao. So this is basically our complete meal here at uh, Gaudra Mudde Mane. So Fantastic. This is the bedrock of a meal here. Oh, it's so, so soft and almost feels like you could bounce it off the table. That's right. You typically dunk it into a gravy. We have the lamb chops here. This is the mutton curry. This is a spare part, so mix of yes. mutton, liver, heart, kidney. All the organs are in all there. All the organs in there. But before all that, I think we should make a beginning with the oh, kareli. Sure. It looks very crispy, very crunchy, but when you bite into it, you will be surprised at what you will taste. Oh man. So go for it. So man. good. Oh, oh, this is the drumstick. The kareli. The kareli. Yeah. On the inside, it's rather gelatinous. Yes. Cheers. So crispy and actually creamy on the inside. Very lush on the inside. It's sort of meaty flavor that fills your palate. Can you taste the smokiness of the meat too? Mm hmm. Mm. It's extraordinary. And just like the coating and the dusting of the masala. It is perfect. That's so good. Mm. Oh, yeah. The thing with the ragi mudde is that you got to break a small little dumpling of it. Okay. Not too big, what I'm about to tell you next may alarm you to a certain extent. So therefore, don't bite off more than you can chew. Okay. And in this case, there's going to be no biting. If that's given you enough clue already. No biting. No okay. biting. So and what you do is you take it and you dip it into the sambar. Submerge it. Submerge it into the sambar, bathe it, and then watch me first. Okay. This is a, you got to follow me. Okay. Okay. The swallow. There's the swallow. So that is how ragi mutte is eaten. Wow. So you don't bite into it. Uh -huh. So you basically break off small little dumplings, uh -huh. dip it into that sambar, let it coat all the flavors, uh -huh. place it in your mouth and just swallow. Swallow. No chewing required. No chewing required. Nice. Okay. Let's see you right. go for it. Okay. You, I mean, you did well for the first time. Oh, yeah. Oh, so it just kind of slides down. That's right. But it's, you can feel how dense it is. That's right. Mm. So this ragi mudde is also a farmer food. So it's a low GI, low glycemic index food. So it's also food that releases energy very slowly. You know, before they go to the field to work, they will eat this. I like and, that flavor. And they get fueled for the whole day. Okay. You can tell how dense, how starchy yeah. it is. It's rich in flavor. It's complex. Such an interesting food. Do you, can you taste the mint also in the flavor of the sambar? Is that sambar? in the sambar? Yes. Yeah. Yes, you can taste the mintiness of it. Mm. Oh man, but really flavorful. Very really earthy good. also in the manner yes. that it registers on your palate. I love that. So what we'll do That's next wonderful. is we will taste some of this chakna. Okay. This is also about honoring the animal. There's an animal mm. that's given up its life. So you want to ensure that you devour every bit of it. Yeah, definitely. Right? Definitely. All right. Mm. Liver. It's creamy. Oh, sweet too. You can taste the freshness of it. Spice to perfection too. One thing you can be assured about here is that it's spice to perfection. And also the recipes out here are home recipes. Mm. It's a sort of food that they would prepare at home and that's what Chandrasekhar serves mm. to his customers. Oh, that's so good. Mm. Mm. So there's a saying here, so the Gaudas, so they are a very assertive sort of a community. They're considered very loud, very vocal. And they say they get that strength in their vocal cords because they swallow the ragi oh, mutte. Okay. So if you were to ask Mr. Chandrasekhar, he says, if you only ningu, if you swallow, uh -huh. that's when you can speak like a gaura. <laughs> you get a powerful voice. That's right. I like that a lot. You like the ragi mutte? Very, very hearty. Yeah. Mm. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Delicious. I think next we should probably try the mutton All right. curry. Here you can see the depth of flavor. Mm -hmm. The mutton has had all the time to soak itself almost oh. as if in a bath of all those spices yeah, and soaking. flavors. Soaking mm. to perfection. Oh, and the fat in there too provides so much flavor. This is what they would consider a nice example of meat. So, for instance, you see the meat and you also see a fair bit of the fat yes. that sheathed around it. And so, it's you a have a mixture, a combination, a ratio of meat to fat with every bite. Mm. Everything is to the max of flavor. The texture of the meat is such that it literally slides off the bone. Slides off the bone. We've tasted different meat preparations. Each one unique in its own flavor. Mm -hmm. Out here you can taste more the flavor of perhaps the spices like the coriander, mm -hmm. the cumin, you know some of the other things that go in. Whereas now when we taste that uh, chops next, yes. it'll pull us in a different direction okay. altogether, flavor-wise. Okay. It's a chop with the rib attached in the green masala. I'm going to do a very quick transfer oh, to your okay. plate. I'll screw it closer. <laughs> oh, thank you. And get you plenty of that. Lather it on yeah. the green masala. It smells good. Just give you that flavor boost. This is a bone we need to pick up. That's right. Oh, it never gets old picking up bones and biting them. Mm. Mm, that green masala, the gingery mintiness of it. Mm. Oh, with that like green chili flavor that goes down your throat a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit of the warmth. Oh, the fat, the meat combination. With every bite, you totally want to just drench it. Drench it in the masala. A little drenching. A little drenching. Drenching of the masala. Drenching of the masala onto oh, the bone. You can never have enough of that masala. Can you also taste the flavor of the fresh fenugreek in that? Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what's coming out. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. I got a big nugget of meat that time. Oh man, the tenderness. And for these lamb chops, the meat is kind of encased within this layer of fat. So when it was cooked, the fat just kind of yeah. seeped into the meat, keeping it moist and juicy. Yeah, look at that interior. Also, Mark, when they cook it first, with the oil, they fry some spices. Mm. There's some aromatic warmth that you're tasting. So much flavor. Can you now feel the flavor of the pepper and the yes. chilies kick in oh, a lot without stronger? A doubt. Without a doubt. I mean, that's, that's like, it's mellow at first, yeah. and then it starts to build on you. You taste the yeah the pepper in the back of your throat, Builds building up. in heat very quickly, very quickly. Oh man, of all the dishes, that green masala is just absolutely picking in flavor. Yeah, it starts off mellow, yeah. and then it just punches you in the face. It starts to build, and just like your lips start tingling a little bit, opens up your sinuses. Oh, I love it. Wow, it's unbelievable flavor. I can feel the burn now. Yes, yes. I can feel the burn on my lips, oh. on my tongue. Yeah, masala. Yeah, yes. I need some of that ragi mudde. Actually, the ragi mudde, I've been trying it in the green masala. Yeah. That's also a combination of, of your dreams. Mm. Everything has been good. But those chops, that is... Different level. Yeah, that's another level. Oh man. Also, if you yeah, notice, the, the ragi mudde also helps tone down the spice. Yes. Just when that spice of that green masala has gotten a little too much, you reach for a bit of that ragi mudde, mm -hmm. swallow it, it immediately calms things down and tells you that you're in a safe place. <laughs> yes. It reminds you you're, you're at home. You're at home. You're at home with the Gaudas in Gaudra Muddha Mane. 
this one was the chicken or the, it's the mutton? The, the chicken, the country okay. chicken. The country chicken pulao. Ah. Oh, look at how chunky yeah. it is with the, yeah. the spices with the bay leaves in here. Can you smell a little bit of the aroma of the hot spices, a little bit of the ghee? Yes. And it's, yeah, it's so herbal driven. Yeah. You can even see it's green in color. soft melts with all that flavor also if you notice the rice is a little moist so there's yes. a bit of coconut milk too that goes into the cooking oh, of okay, this particular great, pulao right <laughs> and towards the end they finish it with some herbs and that's also what you're tasting in addition to the hot spices Those herbs are, yeah they're powering it yeah you know when it comes to nati chicken that is the country chicken it's always practice here to cook it with a bit of the skin mm. because the flavor of the chicken is in the skin not so the much fat. in the meat yes in the fat Wow. Also a bit of saltiness in that chicken skin. Yeah, man, if you think they serve anything here that's plain in flavor, think again. Yeah. Everything is to the maximum flavor potential. Now the pulao is very gentle in its flavors as opposed to let's say some of the other dishes that we tasted. Mm -hmm. So if you want to add a little more heat, that's where, so this sambar that we saw here, the mutton yes. sambar is yes. always there. Okay. So somebody wants it spicy, they add that. But then you also have some of these raitas. So the masuru bhaji. So this is with the beetroot. This is with the carrot. And that's with some mint. So if you okay. want to tone things down. All right. All so right. that's also an option. The raita is an option. Yeah. Would you like any of that? Um, I'm okay for now. Yeah. But we should try it, yeah? Maybe we should try the one of the raitas. Okay. Maybe try the beetroot one. Mm. Oh. Just to I'll oh, have yeah. a little bit of the, the beetroot raita on the side. Oh, thank you. Mm. Refreshing. Mm. Plunges the palate. And also in this, if you notice, there's a bit of dill that they've added. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you're also tasting the flavor of that dill, which is quite omnipresent. Yes, it is. This meal is an absolute flavor overdose. Like everything. So good. What a meaty, meaty, delicious feast for lunch. I'm glad you enjoyed this, Mark. Absolutely sensational. I want to drink that green masala. Go right ahead. <laughs> this pulao to me was also a, a delicious find. It's very good. And also the flavor of the chicken in there, it's quite meaty. If you look at the flavor profile, it's mm -hmm. almost like a, a lamb pulao of sorts. Mm -hmm. That's the flavor profile of that country chicken in there. Oh, man. So, Mark, I hope you enjoyed. It's phenomenal. The Gaudra Mudde Mane yes. Uta. It's so much flavor. Fantastic. I love it. So well, I hope you enjoyed this very special episode too with our very special guest, Mark Weems. Until the next time, take care, stay safe, stay strong and happy eating. Happy eating. Happy <laughs> eating. Mm. You paid me to it, Mark. Mm. Oh, what a day. If you'd like to support the work that we do at Food Lovers TV, do consider joining our membership community on YouTube by hitting the join button below or on the home page and receive special privileges like behind the scenes footage, shoot updates, access to live Q&As and a lot more. You could support us on our Patreon page as well. For more info, check out the links in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and leave a comment below. Happy eating!